Morton, thank you for joining me. So, what opportunities do you think all this new digital technology has created when it comes to pharma to physician communication? I think we, I mean, the time we're living in right now, I think, is, is amazing. It's, it's uh, the technology is now giving us the possibility to really become individual uh, in our communication. And I think that's really what's been lacking, that we've been putting people into buckets and different kind of segments, not because we really thought that all female doctors would have the same values, but because that's what we could do with the means of communications we had. And now what we can do is that we can actually engage with people on an individual level, uh, meaning engage, profile, what's important for you, just not on, on some kind of adoption ladder, but actually what's your problem right now at four o'clock in the afternoon, and that's what I'm gonna, um, that's what I'm gonna deliver. So I, I think that, uh, as I say, uh, communication now is going to be, be personally because it can. Now obviously it can be used in different ways. Do you think pharma is actually using this technology to its best advantage at the moment? No, I don't. No, not at all. Um, but the, the thing is, the funny thing is actually that the technology is absolutely there. We, we, got, we got clients who's in peaks, you can say, are doing this, that, that is really, really working. So the technology is there. What's lacking is the is the mindset i don't want to sound arrogant or anything but but for so many years as marketeers we've been in pharma been restrained in what we can do pushed into this box with paper medical approval blah 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 and suddenly now we can think out of the box we can do things really really becoming what we always wanted to be customer centric um but I think it's 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 a, it's a sh swift switch of mindset, you can say, because of, so now we've been thinking in campaigns and more thinking that okay, first quarter I'm going to talk about efficacy, next quarter safety, next quarter uh, 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 compliance, and if I meet the, the the customer in January, I say we're going to talk about efficacy, and I say no, I'm more interested to compliance. Then well, we could say well, well we've got to wait to Christmas, I'll be back and talk about compliance. Now we can really forget about that because we can have everything. On on the, on the digital media and we can say what's important for you now and if you want to talk about compliance we'll talk about compliance so I think it's it's more got to do with changing the mindset from this push tradition that we've been doing for decades if not centuries I was about to say um, to much more of a pull where we start listening because now we can actually give an answer back that fits to the question. We know that pharma likes to segment, it's always done that, but does traditional customer segmentation therefore still apply with this new technology? I think personally that segmentation is dead. I mean, it's not dead now, but it will be very soon because the thing is that a segmentation is, is just, as I said, putting people in, into buckets uh, uh, and trying to, to, to make them all look alike. Um, um, but what we can do now is that we can do individual segmentation. We sometimes call it micro-segmentation, but the thing is that what we can do is that we can engage, profile, see what's important for you right now, whether and that in the morning that could be screening or diagnosing, but in the afternoon you've got a problem about titrating, profile, blend the new presentation, deliver what they need. So that means that I think it's going to be, again, it's going to be personal, it's going to be one-to-one -one argumentation, one-to-one uh, uh, segmentation. And if we turn that around as we should do, what would you say physicians are looking for from the representative detail and interaction? I, I think that what, what, the, uh, what the healthcare professional want is to help them to become more professional because they have the same, you can say, uh, a challenge that they, they got uh, customers patients that, that has been on the internet who knows a lot about their disease, they probably uh, diagnosed themselves before they came. Uh, they also are uh, not as loyal as they used to be, meaning that if, if the doctor can't answer any question, they might go to another doctor. They got an enormous pressure from, from, uh, from society on um, economically impact, insurance, reimbursement, all kind of things. And I think clearly what's happening also, as, as the product becomes more complex, moving from chemicals to biologics, that, that the industry will have to be much more service-oriented um, to help the customer where he needs to help. And I think what he wants is value. If we give him value in his situation or her situation, 
they they will appreciate that they will actually be ready to see you more frequent to hear listen more to what you say even to go in other channels online whatever if they know it's valuable they'll give you the time now if we get that piece right in the field we still have to make sure it's centrally managed so how should farmer be coordinating that activity on a central level yeah i think the 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 nice thing here is to say that we're going to get the best of two worlds, being that we're going to need to centralize the uh, and uniform. So we got so we from a centralized point can build all these uh, visuals of, of the features and benefits of our products. Yet at the same time, we need to individualize, as I said, to customize. So we have to centralize yet customize. And for that, we're going to need. Uh, for now, it's CRM. Uh, or in pharma it would be more safe force automation you can say so we've got the target list so so we can also um, deliver and, and capture the data on an individual level I think though that that is changing rapidly as well because in my view closed loop marketing is the real customer relationship because a relationship is something that's happened when you're talking to a person and not something that happens before the meeting in a car or after the meeting Saturday morning um, that's what's happened, that's the interaction, and that's what close loop marketing is about. If you're a pharma company and you recognize you need to change, how would you summarize the right approach to going about that process? Hmm. I think you have to realize that the biggest change here is really in the mindset, as I said, with the product managers, uh, with the marketeers, first of all. I think the reps, actually, what we're seeing is that they are embracing this because the good rep has always been doing something like this and now we can actually give them the tools to to expand their comfort zone talk about stuff they, they've been worried about before so I don't see a big problem with the reps I see and I don't see a problem with the marketeers not what I'm saying but we are in a transition where they are under pressure to deliver what they've always delivered meaning paper detailers uh, campaign strategies if we quarter and suddenly we go in and twist everything around and say no meet the customer where they are blend the presentation on the fly so that 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 that's going to take some time both in the way of thinking but actually also in the way of how the resources is allocated right now we in pharma we've, we've put everything into silos so we got sales we've got marketing not only we've got marketing we've got e-marketing we've got paper marketing and all kind of things I mean and what we have have to start thinking I think I believe is to think much more in a horizontal way saying that basically we have to remember that I'm not in marketing I'm not in sales I'm a communicator my job is not to have five calls a day my job is not to make uh, five campaigns a year my job is to change perception my job is to change behavior so 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 and, and that's not how the organization is is driven by now because now you've got some money for that some money for that and, and this is kind of working across that. So it's going to take some time. I'm going to take some time in the mindset, but it's also going to take some time to really sink down in the organizations, start thinking things more in a horizontal or umbrella way, you can say. Morton, that's been great. Thank you very much for your time. Pleasure. Thank you.